Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to some Overwatch. My name is Zane Duhai. I'm the head esports coach and program director here at Edgewood College, and I will be commentating everything tonight as we have a matchup between the Eagles and Shawnee State University, the Bears. This is our first regular season match, and this is Overwatch 2. We are no longer in Overwatch 1. Overwatch 1, we have said goodbye to. We're hanging out with Overwatch 2 now. So we are very, very excited about that. Brand new game. 5v5 instead of the regular 6v6 that you're probably used to seeing. Shawnee State will be in the purple on the right-hand side. Edgewood College is going to be in blue. We're going to hang out with Luke here first. Thank you all for joining us tonight as we are hanging out on the Lijang Tower. Luke getting good damage off. We're going to see the Bears playing a good brawl comp here. Up in here with Jabobbers with a big slam from that wrecking ball. Ball doing a ton of damage currently. Luke also trying to do what he can, just poke from all sides, get in some damage, maybe find a pick here. The point goes over to Sean E. State first. The Bears have control. There goes a pick for the Eagles. Big slam. Keelan. There's a big rocket barrage though. One left for Shawnee State. Luke gets rezzed. And Edgewood College is going to go ahead and take over this point. Big barrage there from Luke. We're going to see some swaps over here for Shawnee State. We see an Ash now. As well as a Diva. So no longer full brawl. More so just how to deal with Luke. Go ahead and take their rotation. Ooh, that's a good boop. Makes three of them. There goes Luke with a pick. Another pick is found by Luke. That Lucio got booped off the map on the side over here by Jabobbers. Luke finds another one. Diva is demecked. And there she goes. This Lucio last one alive on point for the Bears, but this one is going to be taken back over from Edgewood College. Shawnee State did flip that point, but not for long. Luke here farming up another ultimate. Does have. Does have Barrage right there. We're gonna see what happens here. The call is made up. They're going right. Jabobber is here looking for his opportunity to just roll right through. Here he goes. Big slam! Rocket Barrage goes in. Luke finds a mech as well as the Sojourn. Nano is available here for Lexi. Rez has been made onto Luke, so he is up and ready to go again. Good boop there. Fight over points still going in. Serial's gonna go down, but I think that's all right. Luke here trying to kill that Lucio, and he does. 70% completed here for the Eagles. Shawnee State looking to take this point over. We do have a best of five tonight. Boom Cycle 22, thank you so much for the follow. We appreciate you. Nano has gone out. We hop on with Luke. This Nano boosted far is quite terrifying if you ask me. Especially on Luke. He does find one. Point is continuously going down. Good hack there on the D.Va. Back in Nam's going to go down though. Luke trying to take care of this Moira who is ulting. Oh, but Jabobbers finds three. That was a big minefield. He actually finds four. Rocket Barrage for Luke. Here comes a Diva ult. Not going to find anybody. Last second push from the Bears is not successful. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take this first one. This one is a control map series. So there are three total maps in Lijiang Tower. You have to win two of the, th of the three to win the entire map. And we are going for a best of five here, so. In for the Eagles, Luke Sullivan here. Luke, he is a sophomore. 
Serial, this is Alexis Davis. Ooh, I live for this. She is a junior. Jabobbers, this is Jacoby Kid. Jacoby is a freshman. James over here on the mercy. This is James Romero. He is a junior. And then rounding off for the Eagles is back in Nam. This is Keelan. Keelan is a freshman. In my world, he also plays a bunch of other games too. So as we get into it, a little bit more of a brawl comp again for Shawnee State. Luke is trying to get some poke damage in. Farming up. Lucio is very far away from this team. Oh, there's a kill there for Luke. And he finds some more. There goes another kill. Luke needs to be careful. He does go down. Hop on here with your bobbers. Oh, James looking for a res. He does get it, but he is taken out for it. Luke needs to make sure that he gets a lot of value from this res. Lexi's doing her best to keep him healthy. Luke is going to go down. It's tough for that far to do much without the mercy. Bobber is looking to make the hero play. Trying to get that Baptiste to his low. Mercy is back. Bobbers goes down, so does James, and the Eagles are going to go ahead and just reposition themselves. Look for another fight. Serial goes down, so a little late kills there for the Bears is going to be huge. Getting some more time here on the point. Luke does have Mirage, though, so we could see something massive from him. Oh, that's a big boop. Lucio is alive though with his wall riding ability. That's kind of annoying. It is what it is, and we keep her going. Okay. Jabobbers here, just rolling through. Big slam. Rocket Barrage comes in. Jabobbers finds one. Luke finds two. Is a 3v5. Another one down for Shawnee State, and another one down. Luke is popping off right now. Great team kill there. Gonna hop over here with Keelan, who does have EMP coming up here soon. We're probably gonna see the fight open with that EMP being farmed. Mercy does have Velk, but that's an ultimate that you can pop just kind of whenever you would like. Oh, Luke goes down early. Mercy trying to Velk. Here comes a lot of damage. Purple going out. James is gonna go down. Oh, for, I don't know how that sleep missed, but okay. That's going to be a team wipe for the Bears. I actually believe Keelan is still alive. Oh, Keelan is alive, but point is going to be flipped Why over to Shawnee State. Well, back in Nam does have his ultimate available. We're probably going to see him EMP here very quickly. A lot of people low. Luke just putting in a lot of damage. We're going to see from this backside. Big slam. There goes the EMP. Luke finds two. Keelan is picking them off as they're running away. Just the D.Va left on point. Bobby Joe, thank you for the follow. We appreciate it. And Lucio was doing their best to them in the overtime. Didn't happen though. 30%, so the Eagles do have a long ways to go. So it looks like the Bears are going to go ahead and rotate all the way through to the top, and they're going to jump down onto this point. Luke trying not to make his presence known. Big ultimate ability right there. Massive ultimate. That's a team wipe for Luke. He's looking for another one. Jabari's going to go ahead and pick that one up. Team kill. Holy cow, that was a lot of damage. Up on here with Jabobbers on this ball. They want to go early, it looks like. Mines have been placed. Oh, Jabobbers trying to boop that D.Va into the mines. Not going to happen, though. Lots of damage coming out here for the Eagles. Oh, there is an ultimate ability pop from the Soldier. Oh, he also got the beat drop. 
points is going to be flipped over. That was a huge move there from Shawnee State. Kobe was rezzed, but overtime has been gone out. It does not look like the Eagles are going to be here in time. Jabobber's doing what he can do. Luke's turn to get some damage in. I don't think it's enough. Just like that. The Bears are going to go ahead and take this second round on Li Zhang Tower. We are going to a third. Score. One to one. Sokotoa, Leo! What's up, Leo? Hmm. Leo is in the chat. So it all comes down to a uh, map three on Li Zhang Tower. You love to see it. It's a pretty close one there on the second map. These two teams are very evenly matched against each other. It's going to be a lot of fun, this third map. Again, this is a best of five, so lots of Overwatch to come. The TP out. Oh, Jabobber's just kind of stuck underneath the map right there. That's not ideal. Lots of damage here coming in onto Luke, but he is able to poke out... A lot of these members of the Shawnee State Bears. Big slam from Jacoby. That was a massive slam from Jacoby. Luke is able to find a few for himself. This D.Va is trying to defense matrix all this damage, but not enough. The Eagles take early control over this one. Points is theirs. This one will tick for a while. It looks like the Eagles probably want to go early on their engagement. Here they go. Jacoby is off to the races here. He's going to go ahead and roll right through. Rocket Barrage coming in. Finds two. The Eagles do lose two, though. But Luke doing what he can. Serial doing what she can to just stay alive. Luke is helping out as much as he possibly can. Good hacks there from the Sombra. Diva is the mech. That is absolutely massive there for the Eagles. Well, there is a. Oh, that was unlucky. Luke got caught there on the side. That Ash just kind of had free range. Jacoby here is spinning to win. Trying to just stay alive, not going to happen, and this point is going to go over to the Bears, but not before the Eagles. 54%. But Keelan here does have EMP. We're going to hang on with him. See what happens here. I am Brian's brother. What's up, dude? I've seen you in the, uh, in the Fortnite chat. We appreciate you being here. Big EMP going out, but Keelan is absolutely going to get deleted right before that, but... Job there from Luke does find two. Jabobbers finds another one. Luke and Jabobbers just pouring in the damage. Big slam, not gonna find the Diva. Diva has been hacked. Good job there from Keelan. The soldier here now to deal with takes him out. One more to take out. Lucio might be next. Bob was booped off point. It's absolutely massive. Keelan is going to keep Bob hacked, so we can't really shoot at anybody, but the Bears are going to go ahead and get set up for their, what could be the final fight. Eh, we might have two fights here to go. Jacoby here, going in. Big slam. Let's be careful. Lots of damage coming in from Luke. Lucio just trying to do whatever he can to annoy Serial here. Another big slam. Let's look in the back line. Keelan being annoying as possible. Jabobbers is going to find a kill. Rocket Barrage coming in from Luke. Finds another one. Oh, good job there from Keelan. Last one to go is the Lucio. 
And it looks like with that final elimination, the Eagles are going to go ahead and win Li Zhang Tower. Massive map from the Eagles, but that one was hard fought. This is going to be a fun series, guys. This is this is going to be a very, very fun series. Jabobber's coming in with the play of the game. Let's see what he did here. Oh, this is right here at the end. Ended up tossing mines on the point. And the D.Va just walked right into him. Ended up getting a good kill on this Soldier 76. Really well done there. And as we wait for the next map to start, I'm going to toss it into our right back screen. All right? So stay tuned. Lots of Overwatch coming back for you. So you heard it there, folks. We are on King's Row. This map was chosen by the Bears. Every time the other team loses, they get to choose the next map. So it goes in an order. So in this order, we have a control map. We have a hybrid map. And then we have a push map. So push is actually something new. I, I, and we're going to see a push map. It's a lot of fun for Overwatch 2. But hybrid, King's Row is probably the most well-known, exciting map that you can have for a hybrid so hybrid maps work like this there is a point and i am looking at the point you see this gray outlined area you have to capture that point all the way up to 100 percent now after you do that a payload comes out so a little cart that you have to push all the way down through uh for for some maps it's three points for some maps it's two points for king's row there are only two checkpoints and once you hit a checkpoint you get some more time so three two so here we go. The Eagles will be defending first. Here we have Luke on this May. Oh, it does get to Zarya. This Zarya needs to be careful. Here come the Eagles. Did not find a kill out of that one, but really well done. Good set up there. Just unlucky. Lots of brawl you're going to see on this map. Jabobber's here. On Reinhardt. Not a lot of health to deal with. Eagles going on to this Zarya. Mortality is out. The Zarya is very much so in trouble. Three go down. Four go down. Last one is that Reaper who goes down. And the Eagles will have a team kill. So we have three minutes and eight seconds. You can see that up top on the right-hand corner. Right next to Defend Objective A. That's how much we have to hold this point for. If we hold that point for three minutes, they don't get any ticks of capturing or anything like that. We then move to attack, and all we have to do is capture one tick. So here comes an early... Oh my goodness, that is a massive shot there from Luke. Denies that Reaper. The Eagles are trying to just push Shawnee State all the way back to their spawn, which they are doing really well. As you can see up top in the left, Luke has his ultimate ability, James has his ultimate ability, and back in Nam Keelan on this McCree, or I'm sorry, Cassidy also has the ultimate ability. Oh, 
big beat drop for James. Basically just negates everything that the Bears just threw at the Eagles. That's another minute just ticked off the clock. Two minutes to go, just over a little bit. Look here trying to get some damage in. His headshots are insanely valuable. May is a really powerful character right now. 250 HP. He does get a good wall. Looking at the Lucio. Finds, oh, Jabobbers is actually going to find that kill. He does have Shatter. This is going to be a massive Shatter. I believe that we are going to combo this with a Cassidy ult. So you're going to see Jabobbers just slam down his hammer. But, ooh, Keelan's actually going to find an early kill. Really well done there. That Lucio is very much so in trouble. Gets away to safety, just barely. Oh, but Keelan's actually going to find another kill. Oh, the Bears just can't get grouped up before going down. Here we go. We're going to stay on Jabobbers here. We're probably going to see a big shatter. Big beat coming in. Ooh, nothing happened for him. Looks like we're pretty much even. Luke doing what he can. Luke is going to go down. It looks like the Bears have made their way on to point. But I believe that the Eagles still have an opportunity con to contest if they wanted to. Lots of time. I don't know if they're going to do so. Only one person. So only one person on this point. Yep, it looks like the Eagles are going to go ahead and... Oh, that's a massive ultimate from Luke. Everybody is just going to get frozen. Reaper on that backline wrecking some havoc. But just like that, the Eagles come back. And there is no capture on the point from the Bears. And there you have it, folks. Round one is done. The Bears now have a chance to defend. That was a massive beat there. And a massive May alt from Luke. So what we have to do, so as you can see in the top right hand corner, you see that number 80.9%. So what the Eagles have to do is we have to capture 81% of the point to win the entire map. We don't even have to worry about pushing the cart because Shawnee State was not able to push the cart. Okay? So that's how that's good. That's this is how it's going to word vomit is true and real. I'm just telling that right now. That's just how it is. That's what I wanted to say first. Didn't come out that way. But, all right. So we are going to see that the Eagles are going to be on a comp that we saw on Li Zhang Tower. Luka's going to hop on this Farah. Serial's going to be on an Ana. Jabobber's on this Wrecking Ball. James on a Mercy. And Bakanam on the Sombra. For Shawnee State, it looks a little bit... Uh, not really. So they have a May, a Baptiste, an Arissa, an Ash, as well as a Zendyata. What I want. Super, Neither super excited to see this to one. Begin with. <laughs> Let's get seconds started. to go until Got this one goes out. Here we go. All the Eagles really need to do is have two really good team fights, and they basically win the entire map. Here we go. Jabobber's out here scouting first. He's going to go ahead and get behind them. That's all right, though. So Bobbers finds a Zenyatta, who is now very, very low. So Luke is actually going to go down early. Big slam here from Jabobbers. As you can see, Luke, or, uh, Keelan is on this backside up top. Just being mean. Luke is going to get back, and we are going to see Keelan here going very shortly. Here he goes. Not going to be able to get the slam off, but that's alright, because they created a lot of space. They're just pushing them all back. Big slam there from Keelan. Luke finds one, Luke finds two, Jabobbers finds another, Luke on this Ash. And there you have it right there, everybody's going to stay on point. I don't know if Shawnee State is going to... I don't know if they're going to be able to get here as soon as 
possible. Lucio is going to try to touch. Not going to happen. Luke's going to pop his ultimate to make sure of it. And Edgewood College is going to go ahead and run away with King's Row. One more map, and the Eagles secure their first regular season win. But we're going to hop on with Luke. I hope this is the last fight there with his ultimate. Oh, it is. Good job there. This is the retake before Shawnee State fully captured this point. Very nicely done. And there you have it, folks. We are going to toss it into a beer right back screen as we wait and get ready for the third map of the night. Just a heads up for everybody, the Bears did take a time out, so we'll have a little bit of downtime here. While we hang out, I want to give a huge shout out. Lexi is in the chat, Alexis Davis. That is our support player. One of them, that was our Ana player. Appreciate everyone for the follows. Bobby Joe, 02, 20 minutes ago. Boom Cycle, 25 minutes ago. Appreciate you. While I have you guys here, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about something called Twitch Prime. So Twitch Prime is a program that is run by Twitch as well as Amazon Prime. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can actually link that to your Twitch account. Super, super simple. Head up to your name, click profile, click connections, add your Amazon Prime info. With that, you get a free subscription to your favorite streamers every single month for free. And it supports us. 
We would really greatly appreciate that. If you don't have an Amazon or a Twitch Prime or an Amazon account, that's totally okay. Because it's only five bucks a month to subscribe to your favorite streamer, which is hopefully us. With that subscription, we get financially, uh, we get some financials on our side, and it all goes back into the program. Buys us equipment, jerseys, tables, chairs, you name it, air freshener for that esports lab, because you know how gamers are. But we really greatly appreciate all of you for just being here. All right, that's the biggest thing. I appreciate all the support. Oh, very happy birthday to Dylan. Dylan, it's your birthday, man. I forgot about that. Dylan plays Overwatch as well as League of Legends. Appreciate that heads up, Lexi. Big shout out to Dylan. And if you have not followed, please go ahead and follow our Twitch. Gives you updates on whenever we go live. We are live. We're going to be live basically every single day now we have overwatch as well as league of legends on tuesday thursday or watch we also play on fridays mondays we have rocket league wednesdays i believe that we'll have uh what do we have on wednesdays we have rocket league again on wednesdays and then over the weekend we have fortnite as well as valorant so we are getting into i believe the map number three again best of five so we will see a fun map here, which is Circuit, which is a, a push map. Or not a push map, I'm sorry. This is an escort map, escort. So we're gonna be getting into this soon. Hang out, James is in here. Hello, James, James. Gamer sweating, yes, yes. Leo, you know it. You know it. Looks like we are going to be getting in here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn our music down a little bit. Not too much. Yep, and we are going to get into Circuit Royale. Circuit Royale. A brand new map released with Overwatch 2. Match. A lot of changes from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2. Basically what happened, we went from a 6v6 model, which was two tanks, two DPS, and two support players, to a five-person model. So one tank, just one. But those tanks have been reworked and changed so much. Really, really fun game. Also, a new mode has been released, which is called Push, which is basically both teams meet in the center, and they try to push a robot all the way through to the other team's base. It's a lot of fun. So both teams are like attacking and defending at the same time. So here, some similar comps already. We're going to see a Sojourn as well as a Widowmaker. Keelan on this Widowmaker. Good to see you. Circuit Royale is a very big Widowmaker map. Luke is going to be on Sojourn. Sojourn, a newly released character. She basically gets a ton of just rapid fire shots in and then she builds up you can see in the middle a little bit it says zero right there but that bar is going to build up and then you can shoot a big shot which can basically one shot people if you can it shoots a hundred percent charge so here we go basically mirror comps except an ana and a baptiste are different you can see that's now already now to 42 once it hits a hundred percent there goes the rail shot as you can see very interesting character here on this Widow. Hanging out, doing what she can do. Uh, a lot of damage there onto the Sigma. Lots of damage here from the Eagles, as well as the Bears. Luke is gonna go down, unfortunately. So is Keelan. The Eagles need to retreat here. Good sleep there from Alexis. She's doing her best to get out of here. Luke is going to come in, but not before she is sniped from that Widowmaker. Comes here on this Zenyatta. So first checkpoint has been reached here for the Bears. Edgewood now 
Oh, but James is also going to go down. This Widowmaker is getting a ton of value for the Bears. Lots of damage here from the Bobbers. Oh, big rock. A lot of damage, both of their Sigmas. Ooh, big damage. The Eagles are gonna go ahead and take control. Leave that. Oh, I don't think that they know that that. I feel better. The, uh, the Baptiste is just kind of hiding underneath that point. But that's all right. I'm on here with Lexi. Go ahead and take care of that Venom mine. Well, that's a big window. Bobbers needs to be careful. Bobbers is going to go ahead and get a big ultimate. Luke has popped his ultimate as well. Tons of damage. It's a kill onto... There it is. There you have it. Hello. actually wanted to change this. Breaking them down. Options. Social yeah. text. Hey. Off. Do that. I didn't realize that the music was still playing. That's crazy. Okay. So the Eagles now just kind of being annoying. Playing up close. Lots of damage there for the Eagles. Big rock. Keelan is going to find a kill. Oh, he almost finds another one there. This Widowmaker is just so deadly. Oh, there's another kill. Oh, another headshot. Goodness gracious, Keelan is going off. Oh, but Luke goes down. Only Keelan and the supports are alive. Oh, but Keelan finds a pick on. Nobody's moving that cart, though, for the Bears. I don't think they noticed that. Now they do. That was actually pretty Pretty crucial. Good job there from Jacoby is just pushing out both of these DPS characters, the Widowmaker and the Sojourn. He's getting a lot of good damage. Oh, there goes a big pick for the Eagles. Oh, Jababa is now just going to go ahead and roll right through this. Getting rid of that tank is so massive in this game, as you can see now. Once that tank goes down, basically your entire backline is just exposed, and this Sojourn and Widowmaker combo just makes that backline just hate playing the game, basically. At this point, still stuck here for the Bears. The Bears are looking to. Get a good push right here, potentially get a team wipe, but a lot of ultimates coming up here for the Eagles. On the side of... That's an early lamp. Let's find one. That Baptiste does get a kill. Luke does have his ultimate ability up. Oh, Keelan is actually going to go down. Oh, that's going to be a nano Sojourn. Trying to get these shots onto this Widowmaker. Got the Zenyatta. Is going to go down. A lot of players are down right now. For the Eagles. Alexis, the only one alive. Trying to just stay alive. Doing what she can to wait for her team to get here. Oh, not, a, not able to stay alive. Luke, maybe looking to touch. Maybe not. Yep, he is going to be touching here. But Bobbers has switched over to the Wrecking Ball, but he is just going to get absolutely blown up, and we are going to have a pause. Oh, we had a disconnect. We're just going to kind of hang out. We'll wait for Luke to reconnect. I'm going to put it in a Barrett back screen, and we're going to play some music for you, so sit tight. I'll be right back.
are about to get right back into it. Luke has reconnected. So payload has gotten to the checkpoint. So the Eagles are now just kind of fighting for their last checkpoint. Minute 50, they have to play this really, really well. Luke is getting forced out. Not ideal. Bobber's here on this wrecking ball. Go ahead and roll through. That is a one-shot Widowmaker. Luke is going to get taken down. It's a two-for-one trade. Not in favor of the Eagles. You're mine now. So here we go. Back in Nam Keelan looking for someone to get behind. Does find the two supports up top. Good hack there onto the Lucio. Good immortality field though. Bakanama is going to get taken out from that Widowmaker, and there is a Transcendence. Lots of ultimates being popped. James is going to go ahead and pop his Tranquility. Eagles are just going to go ahead and hide underneath. Bobbers is going to go down though. James is probably going to be next. Oh, can he get a pick? This is going to be massive again. Oh, he's not going to be able to get a pick. But Keelan actually finds a pick onto that Zenyatta. That's actually massive. Bobber's looking for a slam. Did not find it. Six seconds left on that next slam. 23 seconds to go here. The, the Bears have not yet touched that final point. So that's actually pretty massive. Here comes a slam. Big slam. Just being annoying where he can. Luke is looking for a pick here. Calls out that that Baptiste is up top. EMP goes in. Two down, one pick for Luke. That Sojourn now. Lexi up top here is just pouring in the heels. Oh, that's a really, really good purple nade. There is going to be a nanode wrecking ball. I think that's going to do it. The Eagles push the Bears off of the points. So the Bears did not get all the way to that third checkpoint. The Eagles, now the game is very interesting on this point. All the Eagles have to do is push it 79.34 meters to win and win the entire match. We could see on this push right here, the match just being won by Edgewood College. So a lot of fun this map is very very beautiful look at all that wow this is what the future could look like folks this is what the future could look like so the eagles are sticking with the same comp that they had at the beginning it looks like it's basically... Nope, it looks like the uh, the bears are going to go to a dive comp. Let's see, the eagles are playing a little bit of piano for you. I just want to give you guys something to listen to. Well, I don't have eye music on. Absolutely, Leo. Luke was just too fast, so he broke the game. That's why I disconnected. I, I'm 100% in agreement with you on that one. Good to see you. Two seconds to go here. The gates have been opened, and here come the Eagles looking to push this one all the way to the end. Here we go. Bob is just taking a lot of poke damage. That's all right, though. Ooh, Keelan is actually going to find a pick. Massive for him. Ooh, Jababra is going to find a pick on that Tracer. Keelan's just working down that Brigida shield, and there you have it. Eagle's now in chase of this D.Va. Oh, they do demech the D.Va. Lexi is going to secure that kill. 
eagles pushing this payload to the first checkpoint. This is basically about the same thing that we saw from the bears. They were able to take this first checkpoint fairly quickly. Some time has been added. Five minutes and 20 seconds for this next checkpoint. So it looks like some swaps have been made. It looks like the same kind of mirror comp from the bears. Damage here. Jabobber's looking to get this ultimate here soon. Is ahead. Oh, almost a big rock there. Lots of tanking gameplay here, folks. Good eating here. Sights have been popped. Jabobber's going to go down, but so is Luke. Vekinam finds one. Is he able to find another? Oh, he's not. That is just a widow diff. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But clip it. I want to show him that. Defeat cannot break one. Those who have been around for like the Rocket League streams, you know that I like messing with Keelan. All right, it's a lot of fun. Circle Royale is a good because I like Sig, and also it's nice looking. I guess absolutely. I think it's really really cool. I think it's a very very nice map. And I think Sig just kind of thrives on this kind of map. Sights have been- Oh, that's a Widow Diff! Let's go, Keelan. Keelan finds an early pick. Oh, that Brig could be next. Oh, it's a massive purple from Lexi! That is so big! Oh, that is gonna be two there. Jacoby looking for one more kill. That Sojourn is absolute. And there's a team wipe in favor of the Eagles. Now they have four minutes and 54 seconds to go. Keelan getting rocked by that Widow. That's all right, a little payback. We're getting that early pick on that Widow before. Ooh, Luke gets the kill on the Widow. That's pretty big. Bobber's doing a little 1v1 Sigma action. So the Eagles are just getting a lot of free push onto this cart. Lexi here just hanging out on the cart, pushing it away. Some big time right here. Gotta stand close to this cart to move it, so. Oh, the purple just missed. That nade would have been absolutely massive. Really good try there. She should have it up here in just a second. Back in Nam is gonna be taken out. There is a big sleep and a purple here. I don't know if the Eagles have enough juice to do anything with it. Oh, there's a Tranquility pop from James. Oh, big purple. Lexi tried to sleep him out of it. Not gonna happen though. Unfortunate there. Ooh, but Luke finds a kill on that Widow. Keelan looking for this kill on this Sojourn. Sojourn did not peek. No one can hide. Sights have been sight. popped. So we know exactly where that Widowmaker is going to be. Okay, so here we go. Oh, back in Nama's gonna get taken out Keelan. Unfortunate there. Oh, good rock into that soldier and good kill, but Jabobbers was actually booped in by everybody. That's not ideal. The Eagles are going to go have to retreat after that one. Two minutes and 46 seconds left in this one. About 18 meters. Luca's going to... Nope, he's going to stay in the soldier. Sights have been popped. James is just trying to stay alive. I think that's a good call. Oh, but Keelan actually makes the switch over to the Genji. This is something that I don't think we've seen from Keelan in a long time. So Luke has taken one down. James is coming up for another one. 
we're just gonna hang out with Keelan here. And there is a team wipe, and all the Eagles need to get on this point, make it move as fast as it possibly can. As the meters start ticking away, the Bears, I don't know if they're gonna be able to respawn in time. Here they come. Oh, they do get a touch. Oh, it's a big rock from uh, Jacoby, though. James finds one, Luke's finds one. Keelan diving their back line. No one touches for Shawnee State. And the Eagles are going to be winning this one. As they win their first regular season match of NACE. Bob is here with another play of the game. GG's all around. Shawnee State put up a great fight there. But the Eagles pull away with that one. Wow, you gotta love that. Well, I appreciate everyone for being here. That is gonna move the Eagles Overwatch team to being 1-0 in the regular season. We will be live again on Thursday as well as Friday for some more Overwatch. So make sure you stick around for that. I'm going to put up some of our socials on, our, on, our, uh, on this page right here. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram. And then check us out on our um, uh, main athletic site. My name is Andy. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. In a little bit, a little bit, uh, about what, uh, 40 minutes, we're actually going to be going live again, and we have some League of Legends for you. All right, so make sure you tune in for that. I will toss it into being offline. I'll show you our socials. Again, I appreciate everyone for following. Appreciate everyone for just watching and hanging out for us. Everybody in chat, we appreciate all of you. Hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your Tuesday night. Thank you.